What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mixed by AP. Back with another video, finally. I want to start off with saying thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I started making these tutorials just not thinking much of it. Just wanted to help any new engineer uh, kind of learn a little something, you know? So to see all you guys subscribing and commenting and stuff like that, you know, it really motivates me and it, and I really appreciate having you guys' support. So I just want to start off this video by saying shout out to y'all and thank you. And for those who are new to my channel, I teach people how to mix, master, and record on Logic Pro X by using all the free stock plugins or more advanced lessons on Pro Tools uh, showing people how to mix and master using all the industry standard plugins like Waves and Fab Filter and stuff like that. So I offer a little bit of something for everybody at no matter what level you're at. So if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? You know, what else do you really want from me? Hit that subscribe button right now. So as y'all can tell in the title already, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to utilize one of the most important tools when mixing and that's buses. So if you don't know what a bus is, a bus is just another channel where you can put effects on and it's normally used for reverb, delay, certain effects like that. And instead of putting a reverb on every one of your vocal tracks, cause you know, eventually you're gonna stack up, you just create a bus and you're able to send every one of those tracks to that bus to that reverb without uh, having to put a reverb on every single vocal track. And what this does is it saves you time, it saves you um, processing power, so you know, sometimes when you put the effects on every single uh, vocal track, it actually makes your computer uh, kind of over overwork, and you know, sometimes your computer might crash, or you know, you might get an overload um, notification, so these buses are just used to make your life 10 times easier, you know? And you can even send all your vocals to the same uh, compression, EQ, bus, you know? That's as you get a little more farther along, but this video in specific is showing you guys how to create a bus for a reverb channel and a bus for a delay channel. And I'll make a video about how to send uh, your vocals to a bus with some EQ compression, your, basically your mix, in one of my more advanced videos, you know? So right here I have Logic opened up, and I have a YouTube beat, and I have some vocals that one of my homies recorded, um, you know, a little bit ago. And what I'm gonna do right off the bat is I'm just gonna mute this beat, and I'm gonna play it so you guys can hear that the vocals have no reverb and no uh, delays. They're just dry. They got EQ and compression, and that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some of my dogs ain't make it out. I ain't wanna take you out. Yeah, so that's what you hear. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some buses, a bus for a reverb and a bus for a delay, and we're gonna send these vocals to that reverb and that delay. So start off by coming to this area at the top left, and you're gonna wanna click this mixer button, okay? And what that does is it just kinda shows you um, your tracks a little bit easier. And you're gonna wanna go over here to this options button. Okay, and right up at the top, it's gonna say create new auxiliary channel strip, right? So I click that, and now I just created an, an aux, and that's how you create an aux. So now what you need to do to make this aux active is you're gonna to wanna to hold down option, and you're gonna to wanna to click, and that brings the aux volume up to zero, and that makes you able to hear it when you're actually sending these vocals. So. We're gonna go over to this little area right here to the plugins and we're gonna click and we're gonna put space designer, okay? And on this space designer, let's use something like large space, plate reverb, vocal plate, okay? So now we put in a vocal plate on this 
I'm going to rename this aux reverb. And you always want to get in that habit of naming all your auxes and stuff like that. It makes your life 10 times easier. Right now, it might not seem like you need it if you only have three tracks, but it's a habit that you want to build for when you have 50 tracks and you need to get places fast, you know, and find things fast. So we renamed reverb. We put a space delay on it, okay? So the last thing we need to make this bus active is we need to go up here where it says in one and two and we're going to click that. We're going to go down to buses and we're going to put this in bus one. So now this reverb aux is connected to your bus one, your first bus. So now we're going to want to send these lovey vocals to that reverb, to that aux channel. And before we do that, guys, I just want to ask one thing. You know, these videos take a long time for me to make, and all I ask is for you just to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me and this channel a lot, and it helps me keep making these videos and teaching y'all. So if you can, just take a second to hit that like button for me. Appreciate it. And how you do that is you go to this little area right here, and you click, and you go down to bus, and you go up to this bus one reverb, okay? And I'm gonna show you why this is like a useful tool by going to this lovey box and duplicating it, right? And I'm gonna say lovey box two. And on this second part, I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna drag these vocals down. I'm gonna use this as the example of, you could put the space designer on both of these, uh, tracks individually and you know kind of do it like that or this is why buses are the easier method is because they allow you to save time and processing power by just lifting up and sending both of these to that same reverb channel with, without actually putting the plugin on that channel right so the beat is muted and I'm gonna play this and we're gonna kind of mess around with this level right here and we're gonna try and find the perfect level of reverb that this track needs. So my dogs ain't make it out. I ain't wanna take you out, but I had to make it out. Niggas ain't wanna play around. I can't even stick and play around. I can't even fuck with y'all. I can't even fuck with y'all. Had to stick it with my dog. Had to get it with my dogs. Some of my niggas jugging raw. Some of my niggas. Some so now you can hear the reverb on the vocals. I think I found that level that I like where it's not too much reverb, but it's just like, it's just right, you know? So now we have to add some delays on these vocals. All right? So what do we do? How do we create another auxiliary track? You guys remember, right? Go to this options, create new auxiliary track. All right, and what do we have to do? We have to go to inputs, go to bus, and change it to bus two. So now it's connected to your second bus. And now we're gonna click to the plugins, go down to delay, and we're gonna use like maybe a tape delay. Tape delay is pretty good. And I'm gonna click here and go down to some of the presets that it has for us, you know, and maybe I'll use like a half note dotted. Then I'm gonna go down here, remember you always have to hold down option and click this so that it, uh, so that the volume and the fader level goes to zero so you can actually hear the reverb. And I'm gonna name the track Delay. And I'm gonna go back to this first track and now I'm gonna click in the sends, go to buses, and send it to my delay. And I'm gonna drag that loop over here so that I can just hear it over and over again and you know, kinda get it right. So my dogs ain't make it out. I ain't wanna take you out, but I had to make it out. Niggas ain't wanna play around. I kept me sticking, play around. I can't even fuck with y'all. So my dogs ain't make it out. I ain't wanna take you out, but I had to make it out. Niggas ain't wanna play around. I kept me sticking, play around. I can't even fuck with y'all. So my dogs. So my dogs. Y'all hear that 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 delay now, right? Now you hear the delay. So I think I found the level that I want that delay at. 
and I'm going to just click, I liked it at 14.6 14, 14 and I'm also going to go to that second track, go to buses and send it to my delay and now I can just enter negative 14.6 and it's at the exact delay as my first track, you know? So now, both of my vocal tracks, both tracks have reverb and delay. They're being sent to those uh, buses, bus one and two, and it just saves a lot of time when you're dealing with a lot of tracks. <clears throat> and things are sounding good. Now, the last step is we're gonna play the beat again, okay? And we're gonna mess with the reverb and delay one more time. We wanna adjust it so that it sounds perfect with the mix, you know? and we might need a little more reverb or a little less delay here, you know? So now I'm gonna unmute this beat and we're gonna play it from the beginning and see what we did. See, I think we got one. Yeah, 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 So my dogs ain't make it out I ain't wanna take you out But I had to make it out Niggas ain't wanna play around I can't be sticking, play around I can't even fuck with y'all I can't even fuck with y'all Had to stick it with my dog Had to get it with my dog Some of my niggas jumping raw Some of my niggas the top Some of my bitches get at top and I make a spray spray Nigga, we do not play play Nigga, I do a AK Cut in a half now, is a drain Ooh! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen The vocals now have that sauce, that reverb, and that delay And we did it by using buses rather than putting that delay and that reverb on every single track Using up that processing power, slowing things down we were able to make our lives a little easier by using those buses. So now what I want you guys to do, use what I just taught you to create buses and send your vocals to reverbs and delays using buses only. Don't put your reverbs and delays on your tracks. Send them to the bus, make your life easier, make everything sound good, you know, and let me know how that goes and let me know if it made your life easier. Also, as always guys, if you have any questions, Feel free to comment them. I read every comment and I respond to every comment. So if you have any questions on what you want to learn next, drop a comment and I'll answer it, you know? And as always, guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. I'm out.